Hello everyone, I wanted to make a video about mineable meme coins being in trend this season, and about how many of us anticipated that more will appear and bought more ESP32 boards than needed, and what to do with the rest of the boards that we have in stock, and so on, but I'm too busy for a long video, or maybe, too lazy. Without further intro, solo mining BTC, that's this video about. You could use those boards for Duino coin as well, but that's for another video. The necessary links are in the description, don't forget to smash like, subscribe and the notification buttons while you're there. Introducing Nerd Miner V2, developed by Bitmaker, I will show you exactly how to flash your board and connect it to the internet to start mining. Scrolling to the GitHub page, we can see requirements, updates, pools and a visual Spanish guide, I will make this easier and faster, don't get me wrong, I have the proper respect for the Nerd Miner team's work. I'm only sharing it from my own perspective. Do exactly as I do to get to the latest version, in my case it's 1.7.0 pre-release, it might be a newer one when you see this video. Download the files needed for your specific boards, depending which ESP32 models you own, in my case it's the ESP32 S31. If we scroll the download page, we'll see that each different board type has three binaries, bootloader, firmware, and partitions, we will need all three and the boot app zero binary that's on top of all of them, so a total of four downloads for any specific ESP32 board model that's supported. Once the files are downloaded, connect the board to the PC by the USB port, make sure you're using a data cable, if the board has two ports, use the UART or the COM one, if you have difficulties flashing it, do the button sequence to place the board into boot mode. All this out of the way, open the ESP flashing webpage from Expressif in Chrome or Brave browsers and follow my guide, load the binaries for flashing in the same way I'm doing it. BOD RATE 115200 Erase whatever might be installed on the board. Upload the files, use my example. Man, crypto man in the game so tight solo mining bitcoin working through the night gpu cpu i make them go insane mean coins all coins every blacks in my lane famous but restless yeah the grind don't stop flexing on the net watch my muscle pop pumping iron daily you can hear the clang training hard getting strong like the chains i had Team man crypto man flexing on the scene mining all these coins living out the dream show ninja's cat experiments my vibe collecting bricks of time man i'm always on the grind in the lab, yeah, I'm flipping switches. Junk collector, I pick up all these riches. Useless bricks, stacking them high. Never digging holes, I just reach for the sky. Crank king, man, I'm wired and I'm lean. Flexing on the haters, keep my energy clean. I'm a lab rat, watch my data unfold. Breaking codes, lifting weight, stories untold. See, man, crypto man, flexing on the scene. Mining all these coins, living out the dream. Show ninja's cat, experiments my vibe. Collecting bricks of time, man, I'm always on the grind. Mean coins in my wallet, stacked so high. Pumping those muscles, watch them fly. Crypto flex junk, yes, yeah, all my way. Crank king vibes, keep me fly every day. See, man, crypto man, chasing the fame. Never digging. To check out the logs to see if the flash was successful, disconnect and click the console button. If you get a similar error, use the reset button various times until the error disappears, including using the physical reset button, disconnecting and reconnecting the board or even consider reflashing following the same steps, some boards are more difficult than others to set up. Once no more errors appear in the logs, it's time to set up the board to solo mine BTC. To do that, search for the Nerd Miner's access point into your Wi-Fi connections. You can use the same PC or even other machine, like your phone, for example. The password is, mine your coins. 
Once connected, a web page should automatically open the NerdMiner dashboard, or you can browse it yourself on the machine that's connected to the NerdMiner access point at 192.168.4.1. When the dashboard finally loads, insert the Wi-Fi access point and its password which the board should use to connect to the internet, the pool the board should connect to mine to, supported pools are on the Nerd Miner GitHub webpage, the Bitcoin wallet address where to receive the coins if the board ever finds a block, and your specific time zone. Why am I not using the generic pool? Stay tuned and watch the full video to find out. Feel free to send me some BTC to this address, I won't mind. The saved message is the indicator that the board is set up and mining. This next log example is when a board, in my case an ESP32-S3 model, is connected using the USB port. As we will see, the information is more complex, and at the end the board will show the mining logs. Okay, so, why didn't I use the generic pool? As we can see, there are more supported pools for low difficulty miners, which one is the best for us? Well, introducing two miners stratum ping. Simply put, it tests the latency, the smaller the amount of time to reach a pool, the better for us. Once downloaded, it's easy to test a desired pool's latency, simply follow my example, replace the pool URL and its port accordingly. As we can see, in my case, nerdminer.io is the best pool to use from my location. This wraps up this short video, is solo mining BTC profitable? Well, if your miner finds a block, it will be, but, will it find one? I'll leave a solo mine calculator in the description, to check that out for yourself, remember. The block time for Bitcoin is 10 minutes, which means, you would have the same opportunity every 10 minutes as long as your miners, well, mine. And, in addition to that, these ESP boards consume relatively nothing. Call it, like everyone else, the Bitcoin lottery.
Yeah, I'm flipping switches.